Hi, I'm going to talk today about our pool garden. Um, we have a hedge planted around our swimming pool. It's an above ground pool that's 48 inches tall. And then we planted our firelight tidbit and the blue chiffon rose of Sharon and we alternated those. I wanted to give some um, information about the blue chiffon and that firelight tidbit. So these are all planted in full sun. And this blue chiffon rose of Sharon, I'll just kind of step up here a little bit. It gets eight to 12 feet tall and four to six feet wide. And they are already blooming. They look absolutely gorgeous right now. And then the firelight tidbit, and I hope this all works out well and it looks good together. This is an, exper an experiment. I tend to do things a little bit different, so we will see how this works out as they get bigger. Um, but the Firelight Tidbit, it is a hydrangea. It gets two to three feet tall and three feet wide, um, and it likes the full sun to part shade. So we're going to just walk around. I planted these last year, and we'll walk around and see how they're doing. Um, you can use that rose, um, uh, what was it called, rose fertilizer on this for the blue chiffon and for the firelight tidbit they like acidic fertilizer um, so you can use that on these. So we'll just walk around and look at how these are doing. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at how tall they are already. They were about uh, this big, about four inches when I planted them. So this year, I would say they've grown, oh what, a foot and a half, some of them. Um, all of these were in a four inch pot when I planted them. Wow, look at this. This is in one season, um, really amazing. The color is absolutely gorgeous. We'll just keep walking around here. I do have lots of weeds. I get behind sometimes and I just want to point out this weed. Um, it's this. This weed here, it's got a crazy root system to it. So you really have to somehow um, get all these roots out. And I have not managed to do that. I don't want to spray these because they are um, next to all these beautiful hydrangeas. So I'm constantly um, trying to pull these out. I did look it up what they are, but I can't remember what it is. Um, it's my nemesis. So I'm working on that, but I have gotten behind on my weeding. I'm not perfect. Um, so we'll keep walking around and just taking a peek at how beautiful these look. And again, these are, these are going to get tall and provide a beautiful screen around and privacy around my swimming pool. I just keep walking around. I have a couple hydrangeas, uh, the little punch lime and the limelight, little lime planted over here as well. We house some of our pool gear in our old, um, child play set, uh, we might be taking that down. Um, haven't decided on yet that yet. So again, we're still walking around this pool circle and it's just looking absolutely gorgeous. Filling in beautifully, blooming, just absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to give you a really quick tour of this area around the pool. Thanks for watching and I hope you like these Blue Siobhan, Rose of Sharon for Proven Winners, and the Firelight Tidbit Hydrangea. Thanks for watching.